Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Saturday and Harness Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to do a little demonstrational video on our CB341. Um, the CB341 is a very good sewing machine for sewing lightweight and medium weight materials. It's actually a little bit better sewing machine than our CB227 um, in some respects because it has a larger bobbin. Um, and it also so just a, a small amount heavier than our, than our 227 model. It uses the commonly interchanged uh, presser feet with the Singer 111 style sewing machines. Also our 227 does, uh, utilizes the same style of presser feet. So you can get you know, 30 or 40 different types of presser feet for this machine that are available on the open market. You can get piping feet, welding feet, cording feet, and so forth. You can also purchase uh, edge guide feet for this machine as well. The 227 is still an excellent machine and it probably edges out the 341 with regard to certain binding applications because binders are more available for the 227 machine than the 341 but if you're not doing any binding or not a lot of binding you can actually purchase the 341 because it does have a little bit larger bobbin than our 227 series machine. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a little demonstrational video on this. Again, the 341 is a compound feed, walking foot lock stitch type machine, so it does have the needle feed, the walking foot, and the feed dog. And one of the hallmark features of the 341 is that the reverse stitch does perfectly match the forward stitch as well. So I'm going to do a little demonstrational video on the 341 to show you how the machine works. Uh, right now we have the machine set up with a size 138 thread. Um, this is a white thread. And we're going to be sewing on some relatively heavy layers of upholstery leather. Uh, this upholstery leather is probably three to four ounces thick. We're going to start out with three layers of three to four ounce upholstery leather so you guys can see how well the machine performs. So I'm going to go ahead and get in front of the sewing machine here and then we'll go ahead and get it set up to, to uh, sew our samples. So I'll go ahead and insert the sample into the machine. Now right now we're using the hand lifter lever. But the machine will come equipped with two levers or two, uh, two methods of lifting the presser foot. One is the hand lifter lever on the back of the machine, and then also uh, we utilize a uh, knee lifter mechanism underneath the machine as well. So there's going to be two different ways to lift the presser foot on this particular machine. So I'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate this so you can see how well it sews. Again, this is three layers of approximately three to four ounce upholstery style leather. And again, we're using a size 138 thread, which, which is a heavier thread. Um, this machine may, in fact, be able to handle up to a size 207 thread um, because it does have a large style hook in it as well. And we're using our variable speed DC servo motor setup coupled to a speed reducer. So the speed reducer gives you uh, a lot more punching power. It also acts as a torque multiplier and it decreases the speed, the sewing speed of the motor. So we do have regulation um, by pressing down on the foot pedal uh, harder or uh, farther down. We can regulate the speed of the machine. If I push farther on the pedal, you can see I can go a little bit faster as well. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put the machine in reverse. We're going to back stitch around uh, three stitches. So you can see that the forward stitch matches the reverse stitch pretty well on this machine. I'll go ahead and extract the sample from the machine. We'll see if our camera can zoom in on this stitching so you can see. Again, you'll see all these uh, layers of material are sandwiched together very, very nicely. And they're, they're relatively tight given the fact that it's upholstery leather. I mean, it's soft leather to begin with. But uh, it does sew these seams very, very tight together. You can see I have, if I pull on this seam, it's impossible to take it apart. And then you can see where our reverse stitch was, where we backed up. You can hardly tell that we did, in fact, sew a reverse stitch because the forward stitch and the reverse stitch matches perfectly. If you flip the piece over on the back side, you can see that the stitches are pulled up very, very nice in the center of the, in the, center of the uh, three layers of material. And you can't see any loops or nubbies on the back side. So again, this machine is a very good machine for sewing with... Um, you know, 138 and quite possibly a 207 thread through uh, multiple layers of, uh, of uh, heavier weight type leathers. So we're going to go ahead and try this now on four layers of upholstery leather so you can see how the machine performs. Again, this being three to four ounce upholstery leather, we're going to go ahead and sew through four layers of this now. Uh, one other thing too, the presser foot lift on this machine is, is about uh, 
a little bit over a quarter inch with the hand lifter lever, but you'll get a much higher lift if you use the knee lifter on the machine. So you'll pick up a little bit higher lift when you use the knee lifter versus the hand lever. So we're going to go ahead and go down through four layers of three to four ounce upholstery leather. So again, this is, this is you know, relatively heavy material. And you can see that the machine does very well. If you listen to the machine, if you can hear the audio in this video right now, if you listen to the machine, it's very quiet. And you know, when you have a machine that's very quiet like this, sometimes you know, a, a very uh, a machine that's very quiet that, that doesn't have a tremendous amount of noise is also indicative of a very efficient running sewing machine. So you have uh, a lot. Um, tighter tolerances between moving parts, and of course that translates into more sewing efficiency as well. So the machine's very, very quiet when it runs, and you can usually tell that that's a, a sign of high quality workmanship. I'm just going to back up a few stitches here so you can see how it does in reverse on the four layers. We'll go ahead and extract the material from the machine. And so you can see on four layers of material now, this machine has performed very, very well. I'll see if our, see if our camera can zoom in on this to see it just a little bit better. So on four layers of this material, it has performed very, very well with the size 138 thread. You can see the top stitches look very good. If we flip the work over on the back side, you can see that the stitches are pulled up very evenly. And again, with this being four layers of three to four ounce upholstery leather, you can see that this is, this is well over a quarter inch, might be heading towards three eighths of an inch thick. And this machine performed uh, very, very well on it. This machine would be an ideal choice for people that were doing things like wallets, uh, checkbook covers, portfolios. If you're using it in upholstery applications for doing bimini tops for boats, you can use it on uh, uh, automotive tops for convertibles. You can utilize it in the marine canvas in industry. You can utilize it in the marine vinyl industry. So it is a very, very good choice for that, uh, for that type of work. So again, lightweight, medium weight machine, and this is our Cowboy CB341. And my name's Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Sadlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And I do thank you for your time today.